Hi everyone, welcome to Tennispin.net. I'm Kavitha, here with your preview of the 2011 U.S. Open. Now I'm coming to you a few days early this year, but that doesn't mean there's any less to talk about. So let's jump right into it and revisit my New Year's picks to bring it all home. Somewhat ironically, the top two seeds this year. Way before his historic run started this year, Novak Djokovic was my favorite for New York. Twice a runner-up here, he's won just about every other title he's contested, including two Grand Slams. His latest streak was broken in Cincinnati, when he retired in the final, trailing Andy Murray by a set and two breaks. But he's still the top contender, ranked number one at a major for the first time in his career. We should see quickly how well he's recovered from that shoulder injury which plagued him in Ohio. And then there's Caroline Wozniacki, who continues to battle the stigma of being another slamless number one. She's already captured five titles in 2011, but she lost openers in both Toronto and Cincinnati. She's making a last stab to recapture momentum in New Haven, where she returns as a three-time defending champion this week. Whatever the result, maybe she'll benefit from the rest. She certainly didn't have any of that coming into this tournament last year. Of course, the top seeds will all be real contenders, but the draws are still fairly open, and not just for the women this time. Defending champion Rafael Nadal seems somehow to have lost a bit of his sparkle, along with his number one ranking. And Kim Kleisters, who hasn't lost at Flushing Meadows since 2003, won't be playing here at all. 09 champion Juan Martín del Potro is back in the mix, and so is triple titleist Serena Williams. Clearly, neither can be counted out, but both have question marks hanging over their heads. As for the players who've jumped up the rankings in the last few weeks, Marty Fish has made at least the semis of every event he's played since Wimbledon, and he has the prospect of a $2.8 million U.S. Open Series purse to further motivate him. Maria Sharapova, ranked her best at a major since 2008, is coming off her own big win in Cincinnati. As she continues to climb back into the elite, she just might be able to repeat her 06 run in New York. But as always, there are sure to be some spoilers out there. I'm keeping my eye out for Agnieszka Rodbonska, whose title in Carlsbad came at the expense of some very tough players. And Fernando Verdasco, once a semi-finalist in Australia, seems to have rediscovered his game on the American hard courts. Neither is seated in the top 10, so it'll be a struggle, but some lucky swings of the racket could get them on the right track. And while there may be much longer shots for an actual title, a couple youngsters slightly further down the list could cause some trouble. Christina McHale took out Wozniacki and Cincy, and Ryan Harrison, a semi-finalist in Atlanta and LA, is sporting his highest ever ranking at the Open. And let's face it, American teenagers always have a way of surprising us under the lights of New York. After all, this is a city where anything can happen, so be sure to watch out for the underdog, the comeback, and everything in between. And keep checking in at Tennispin.net for full coverage of all the action in the Big Apple. Till then, thanks for watching. See you next time.